Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're going to learn a little bit of English. And you may say, Mark, you're already speaking English to me. Yes, this is for my American friends or my British friends that are thinking of crossing the pond or going across the ocean to visit each other. Because though we all speak English, we don't always speak the same language. And what this video is, is just to give you guys some of the main differences and some of the language differences between British English and American English that can cause some problems for travelers just so you don't make those little faux pas or maybe get punched in the face for using the wrong word, okay? So let's get started. I don't want you to get punched in the face, so we'll start with the bad stuff first. Now the thing is, is when you look at insults in England versus America, a lot of them work. You know, the, the, big, the big F words and stuff like that, yes, everyone understands those things, okay? But if you're looking at just simple things like making fun of people, now in the U.S. we say we're making fun of people. In England, they say they're taking the piss out of you, okay? Now, in the U.S., when you take a piss, it means you're peeing, you're urinating. Stuff is coming out of your penis, and your go yellow stuff is coming out, hopefully yellow, okay? But in England, it just means they're joking with you. And I've seen guys almost get into fights about this at pubs in England when the Americans come over and stuff like that. So watch out for this. So people are just taking the piss, and they'll say, oh, dude, I'm just taking the piss. Just means, oh, they're just joking with you. They're just messing with you. They're making fun, okay? Now, some of the insults you may hear when you're there is, you know, one is wanker. And wanker just means asshole, okay? But the thing is, is when you look at wanker, it's kind of like if you have your buddies and your buddies joke around with you, oh, you asshole, you jerk, you know? It kind of works that way if it's a friendly thing. But if it's not a friend, wanker means asshole or an asshole means wanker. Not very nice. So it depends on the thing you're at. Um, sometimes, you know, you're at a bar. And you, know, you want guy, you know, somebody to get get lost, you know, get rid of, you know, they're bothering you at the bar, ladies. You tell them to get lost in the U.S. In the U.K., you tell them to get stuffed. But that's kind of more forceful than get lost. You're like, ah, oh, get lost, get stuffed. Okay, it's more forceful, like get away from me, go. Okay, so that's get stuffed. Now the thing is, they're they're drunk, and you know, drunk in America means in England is pissed. Okay, if they're pissed, drunk. Okay, they might call you something like a slag. Okay, slag means slut or whore which not really a nice thing to say. You don't want to call people that, but just know that's what it means. It's a derogatory term for women. Um, you know, and that's what happens when guys are pissed, when they're drunk. They say completely inappropriate things. So you want to watch out for that. Now, my English friends, if you say you're getting pissed, okay, meaning you're going to be drinking a lot, in the U.S., that means you're getting mad. So you tell someone, oh, I'm pissed, they think you're mad. And if you're at a bar and the, the bouncers hear that, the doormen hear that, they're probably going to throw you out because they think you're going to get into a fight, okay? So you don't want to say you're pissed as in you're mad, all right? Now, other things you might look at, you know, if we go back to our asshole example, you know, the wanker thing, you may just want to say, you know, he, you know he's like, he's, he's an ass, okay? In English, you know, American English, ass is, you know, your butt, you know, your ass. They are to make it really strong, like the mean version of it, you say arse. He's an arse. He's an ass. He's an arse. Okay? Works the same way. If you want to tone it down a little, you just want to talk about your butt. Well, my butt, or my behind, my bum. Okay? England, Britain, bum. In the U.S., butt. Okay? Now, if you want to be really nice and like how your grandma might call it in America, she'll say, oh, yo, know, she has a nice little fanny. She has a nice little butt. That's in America. I'll tell you right now. Fanny is not a nice thing to say to anyone when you are in England. Because fanny means a woman's vajayj. Okay? It means her vagina in not so nice terms, okay? So you do not want to words, use the word fanny when you're in Britain or England or anything like that because it is kind of a bad thing to say. So you want to be, co be careful with that, okay? Another thing is if you're at a bar and you're like, you tell I want to blow off, I want to blow this guy off, I want to blow these people off or whatever. In the U.S., blowing people off means you don't pay attention. Or blowing off is like you're not paying attention to them, okay? In England, blow off means you fart. Okay, so that can lead to some kind of kind of kind of fun things, and you know, with all these insults and stuff like that, people do get upset. And in England, when people are really upset, they say they're gutted. Oh, I'm gutted from this. It's such a bad experience. Okay, so if you're very upset or you're talking to someone, they say they're gutted. It just means you know, it's it's a really really tough thing. Now, if we look at some of the like, how would I say this? If you want to look at some of the typical products that you might need when you're traveling over in England or in the U.S. where there are differences. One, I mean, I'm a father, okay? Amazingly enough, I have children. Who knew? That could actually happen. Okay, and in the U.S., you have diapers for the babies. You know, they, they wear all the time. Diapers in England are called nappies, okay? So if you're looking for nappies, you're like, what? what's a nappy? I don't know what that is. It just means a diaper, okay? Women, when you go over there, um, American women, you know, if you wear pads instead of tampons, pads in England are called feminine napkins, or just napkins, okay? So 
you might want to be careful, and as my wife will attest to, and every woman I've met from America that's gone over the UK or Engl or Europe anywhere, they do not like tampons in Europe. European women seem to use much more feminine napkins or pads. So just so you know what to look for, feminine napkins would be your maxi pads kind of stuff. Okay. Now, moving out of the uh, hygiene area, because for some reason I'm a boy and that just makes me go, ooh. Okay. Not ooh, but, you know, I'm a boy. What can I do? All right. You want to look at food, because that's a good lead into food, okay? There are some food differences that are different, like ketchup. I guess it's a nice segue. Okay, ketchup in the U.S., you know, the tomato sauce. In, well, in England, ketchup is called tomato sauce, okay? But tomato sauce in the U.S. means the stuff you put on spaghetti noodles, okay? So, slight differences there. If you're going to go have some fish and chips, the big English fry-up thing, well, chips in England mean French fries, Okay, but chips in America mean crisps in England. So if you want your Lay's potato chips, you're going to get Lay's crisps. If you want your McDonald's french fries, you're going to get your McDonald's chips when you're in England. Okay, just to give you a lot of idea there. Um, some other food that's kind of funny is if you look at uh, Jello, if you like Jello pudding, or just Jello, you know, wa waffle pudding, but like the shaky stuff. Okay, it's called jelly in England, but the thing is, jelly in the U.S. means like marmalade or jam, okay? So there's these slight differences. And of course, we all like our cookies, our little treats. Well, cookies in England are called biscuits, whereas biscuits in the U.S. are basically muffins, okay? Um, some other little things out there that might get you is if you're looking at, you know, your clothing. Um, one that always is funny because guys wear pants in the U.S. and pants are, are like trousers, jeans, these kind of things. Pants in England mean underwear. Okay, so that that can be kind of a fun, th funny thing. But if you think of talking about pants, like long pants, like jeans, kind of stuff, you say trousers. Okay. Um, also, don't say panties in England. I don't know why they just don't. That just doesn't go over well. So stay away from the panty stuff. Um, another thing that really gets me a lot of times when I'm over there is the time. Like when they say it's half eight. Well, here's the thing. What is half eight? Is it seven thirty? Is it four? Because it's half of eight. I don't know. In England, half eight or half seven, half eight means 8.30, okay? Half past eight. So whenever they say half anything, half eight, just think it's half past whatever it is. In the U.S., you say 8.30 or half past eight, okay, for half eight. Okay, that's one of the big ones that if you're looking at business meetings, that's where I've had a lot of problems, so you want to check that out. That, that could be something there. Um, if you're going to be driving, um, gas in the U.S. is called petrol in England. And if you look at cars, cars are very different. The names are there. The front of the car in the U.S., you know, that pops up, the hood, there it's called the bonnet, okay? And then if you look at the back side of the car, you know, you have, you have the trunk. In the U.S., it's called the boot in England, okay? So there's some car differences there, so you might want to check out for that. Other little things you want to look out for, if uh, you're standing in line in the U.S., you're standing in a queue or you're queuing up in England, so that can be kind of a problem. Also, if you're looking at, uh, if you're doing schoolwork, if you're going out there to study and you're writing with pencil, well, you use an eraser to erase things. Well, in England, an eraser is called a rubber, okay? Guy, and my English friends, rubber means a condom in the U.S. And in the U.S., you say you're, you're, you erase it, right? Well, you're racing it out. Well, there you say you're rubbing it out, okay? And here's the thing, my English friend. When you say you're rubbing it out, it means you're jerking off, okay? So you might want to watch out for some of those little problems there, okay? Uh, and there's other little things. Like you're going to an apartment in the U.S. It's called a flat over there. And when their, their floor system, like their ground floor, ground floor in England is first floor in America. So there's always kind of one-offs. So that might throw you off at your hotels. If you're looking to go to the, the, the bathroom, and, and, you know, England, you say bathroom, they, you, they, oh, where the bath is, where you take a shower and everything. In the U.S., a bathroom has the toilet in it and stuff like that. In England, if you have to go to the toilet and you got to pee or poop or something, you ask for the loo. Okay, that might be a little bit better. And you might want to ask that they, where the trash is, the rubbish is there. That'll help you out. And the last thing I want to tell you that could be a big difference is one that can be very insulting in, in the U.S. In the U.S., you may ask for a cigarette. Okay, but in England, you, you bum a fag, okay? Now, the thing is, my English friends, fag is an extremely derogatory term for homosexuals in the United States, and you should never, ever, ever use that. Even if you don't realize that you're doing it, it will be very insulting to people, so make sure you don't say that, okay? So I hope these 
few words out there help my American and English friends get along better. So whether you have a cowboy hat or a Doctor Who TARDIS, we can all get along together. So to learn more about traveling to England or America or Europe or South America, you want to learn some languages? even English. I think I know a little bit of American English. We got that one. Check us out our website at www.waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. And guys, if you have any words that are different in American English and British English, please leave a comment below. We'd really appreciate it. Oh, and if you have any questions, leave them below. And at once a month, we make a special video answering questions from our viewers. So thanks, and we'll see you later. Bye from Walters World. Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and yes, I'm a good old-fashioned American with my cowboy hat and my awesome mustache and my, you know, lamb chops here and all kinds of stuff. 